we turn our attention to the weather, and uh, I got to tell you, for the middle of February, it doesn't get any better in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, it sure is nice. And we know it's not with us for a long time, but we'll enjoy it right now. Cedric. Yes, yes, we will definitely enjoy it. This afternoon, folks, please take advantage of this beautiful weather that we have out there because we do have some significant changes with the temperatures that are going to be moving our way. It's going to be kind of a shock despite it being the month of February, because we've got temperatures right now here in Chattanooga at 69 degrees, 68 degrees in Dayton and Cleveland. We've got 67 in Dalton, uh, 66 degrees in Fort Payne and Scottsboro, 65 in Calhoun and 64 degrees currently in Murphy. So a warm southwesterly wind helping to really boost those temperatures, and that's going to set us up for a fairly nice evening as well. So if you're making plans for this Thursday evening, the weather is definitely going to cooperate for you. We're looking at mostly sunny skies, giving way to mostly clear skies as we go throughout the evening hours, but the word to know nice. That's the way to describe it as we go throughout this evening. Temperatures near 70 early on, dropping through the 60s and into the 50s as we go throughout the evening. But for most of us, you'll likely not even need the jackets out there tonight or sweaters because it's going to stay fairly on the mild side. Now, by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, it will be a little cool, but hey, nothing we can't handle. Temperatures dropping down into the upper 30s to low 40s across the area. An overall mild Thursday night and early start to our Friday. As we go throughout the day on Friday, TGIF, we're looking at increasing clouds throughout the day. Temperatures still climbing back into the 60s for most areas. So it's going to be another pleasant day, another above average day. But we will notice the clouds on the increase, and that will be ahead of our next weather maker. So let's take a look at that on the weather map right now. Lots of sunshine, but you see some of these high thin clouds beginning to increase ahead of our next weather maker, which is this cold front off to the north and west. Now it doesn't have a lot of moisture with it right now, and that's going to be the story as it moves our way, but it's going to try to squeeze out any little bit of moisture that we have. So that'll give us a couple of hours of a chance of a few downpours moving through the area. So let's time that out for you with Futurecast jumping ahead for your Friday around midday. Again, could see a sprinkle as that warm front moves through, but I'm not expecting much from that. It's when the cold front moves through, but notice the timing late Friday evening. So most of your Friday is going to be dry and then Friday evening late we'll see a band of showers moving through with some downpours in it that will come through. But notice by the time you wake up early Saturday morning, the rain is out of here, so it's not going to last very long and that means it's not going to add up much. Then the winds switch out of the north. That's going to do two things. It's going to dry us out but it's also going to usher in some much colder weather across the area and you're really going to feel that as we go throughout your Saturday. And then finally, it's going to keep this big area of low pressure to our south. So what could have been another wet weekend for us is going to stay dry because that low pressure is going to stay to our south thanks to those northerly winds. As far as rainfall totals go, we're talking about a tenth of an inch on average. I just don't expect much from that. It's not going to last very long. The real story behind that cold front is going to be the colder temperatures. That's our next big thing that we've got to focus on. Now, you can start to see that colder air beginning to enter into the northern half of the country. And notice as we go into your Friday afternoon, temperatures back into the low 60s across the area. But here comes that front midnight Friday night. We're in the low 50s. Look at this by that morning on Saturday. We're in the 30s. By the time we go throughout your Saturday afternoon, we're looking at these temperatures basically not moving too much. In fact, as we go throughout the day, we're talking temperatures struggling to get back into the lower 40s across the area. Here's your storm alert seven day forecast 65 for your Friday with clouds on the increase, but mainly dry during the day. Friday night into Saturday, we'll see some showers and then get ready for a blustery Saturday across the Tennessee Valley.